What's up everyone, Dabblade here with an information video regarding this week's limited bounties and event quests in Monster Hunter World. Now this is for the PC version of the game. This is for the week starting the 28th of September 2018. Now before getting into the limited bounties and event quests that PC players get this week, I have to first announce that they will be getting the Autumn Harvest Festival. It will be starting on the 5th of October and running for about two weeks. During this time, of course, they get all the standard stuff the console players are getting, so bonus lucky tickets, new armor, layered armor, sales on at the facilities, all the previous PC event quests, and daily limited bounties, which I hope to cover in individual videos, especially if you guys would find it useful. But anyway, let's move on to what we actually have for this week. First, let's talk about limited bounties. We have four of them. First is an ecology survey to hunt bird wyverns. Bird wyverns include Puke Puke, Kuruyaku, and Zitsuyaku. Anyway, we have to hunt three of them and it can be done at high or low rank, so it shouldn't be too tricky. And for doing so, you'll get research points and some armor spheres. Next is a general limited bounty, Rotten Vale. We have to clear five quests in this specific location, but again, it can be done at high or low rank, so it shouldn't be too tricky. And for doing so, you'll get research points, some armor sphere pluses, and a first Wyvarian print. Next is an ecology survey to hunt basil juice. We have to hunt four of these high ranking monsters. And for doing so, you'll get research points, some advanced armor spheres, and a silver Wyvarian print. And then finally is the general limited bounty to complete all of this week's other limited bounties. And for doing so, you get your research points, the gold Wyvarian print that can be exchanged for monster gems, and a silver egg that can be exchanged for Zenny. So there we have it, not too difficult whatsoever. The only difficult one could be the hunt basil juice, especially if you're not used to fighting the monster. Anyway, what have we got in terms of event quests? First is Wicked Wild Spire Warfare, a 5 star low rank quest that requires hunters to be hunter rank 8 or higher. This has players taking on a Diablos and two Baroth in the special arena. If you're new to the game, this is a nice way to farm monster body parts from these specific monsters, and it's also a way to farm armor spheres. Next is Flesh Cleave to Bone, another 5 star low rank quest that requires hunters to be hunter rank 8 or higher. This has players taking on a Doggeron and Radaban in the special arena. Nothing too special about this quest, it's just a nice way to farm materials from these specific monsters. Next is Rock and Roll Recess, a 7 star high rank quest that requires hunters to be hunter rank 13 or higher. This has players taking on all the monsters associated with the Eldritch Recess, so Dodogama, Uragon, Levasioth, and Azir Raphalos. The interesting aspect about this quest is there's an increased chance of getting a small or large gold crown for all the monsters involved, so this is one for achievement hunters out there. Next is Relish the Moment, which is returning from last week, although it did have an issue last week. This is a 9 star high rank quest that requires hunters to be hunter rank 50 or higher. This has players taken on a Tempered Devil Joe in the Elder's Recess. This is the hardest challenge that PC players have to take on at the moment, and upon completion there's a chance of getting Stream Stones. And then finally is Tracking the Delivery, a 9 star high rank quest that requires hunters to be hunter rank 50 or higher. This requires players to collect 10 blue barrel from the Elder's Recess. Now just like a simple task there are no large monsters on this quest, however it's littered with tempered elder dragon tracks, so use this as a chance to bulk up your tempered elder dragon investigations. Anyway that's about it for this week's limited bounties and event quests. Not too difficult whatsoever and there is a few challenging event quests for players who feel up to the task. As I said, the Autumn Harvest Festival is coming to PC and it's just around the corner. And whilst they won't have as many event quests as the console version, there'll still be lots to do. But anyway, what are your thoughts on this week's activities? And what are your thoughts on the Autumn Harvest Festival coming to PC? Leave a comment down below. And until next time, I've been Dartblade, bringing you an information video regarding this week's limited bounties and event quests on Monster Hunter World for PC. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. Subscribe and like for more.